Hello my soccer gamers. After so many Sturm Graz videos I thought yeah I'll also show you a Lusk jersey from my collection because yes that's my team that's what who I support and it is this jersey which has to be my favorite jersey or I, I still feel it's the best jersey that Lusk released in the last 10 years roughly I wanna say maybe Maybe not as as much, but at least uh, in the self-produced era, this is definitely the best one. Uh, and it's not the best because it has such an outstanding design overall, but it has a little bit more of a classic last look. And it came on the heels of three seasons with yellow sleeves, which unfortunately, as this season's jersey said, came back. But then also a season where we had pink sleeves and no black and white that was then uh, duly changed uh, into at least black and white but uh, while the season was great and they actually released some really nice European shirts the look of the of Lask did not uh, kind of live up to expectations overall and so yeah this last jersey got released and I was immediately on board uh, with it it entered my <laughs> one I have list very very quickly I even remember I did a you know end of the year uh, best jerseys released video and i put this in the top 10 kinda sorta not really but just because i was so happy black and white stripes and the same sleeves and it actually looks quite pleasing overall and i have to say the first few times i watched it it was actually quite quite nice now that i have it there's something that i want to point out that actually does slightly bug me but i think it very much lives up to it. I got it then, uh, not during the 2021 season, but uh, almost at, at, at the beginning of the 21-22 season when it finally uh, got on sale uh, as a package deal uh, with others because, you know, from the last store directly, uh, you can get free shipping and, and so on and so There it went. This is, of course, the league version. But as we will discuss later, it was also worn in um, um, Euro uh, Europa League qualification. But before that, let's have a little bit of a closer look at this particular jersey. So here you, here we have it a little bit closer. I mean, the first thing that immediately comes to mind when I look at the cut, you know, with this uh, collar and the seams on, on the outside, it screams a lot like copper. 2002 I, I would say the material the previous iteration was very stretchy this one absolutely not this is not so stretchy as I would have expected it uh, and it actually fits a little bit more true to size this is a double XL but I think an XL probably would have uh, sufficed for me as well but I'm always happy to get a double XL because you know you can wear it over pullover and so on as well when you go to the stadium. At the time I was not yet in stadium going mood, but now that we're going to the stadium, I've worn this on uh, occasion or two. Now, um, the white sleeves are also that uh, the sponsor Zipfa was moved away from the front, uh, which where it had been for a few seasons, to the sleeve. And actually it makes it quite nice. Then you have beat up the WT, uh, their logo all over. and. This was the only season they had it in black and white, which actually looks pretty cool. Now, BWT, what is this? Best Water Technology. That's a water filter company that is pumping major money into Lusk, but at the cost of pinkifying Lusk a little bit. So, 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 so say the jersey is self-produced, but they don't do it under the label that we have here. Their own brand which was Forza Ice Car. Now they said hey we have a way to uh, sneak in a sponsor. They got this in European uh, comp competition. I said okay this is a way that we can get the logo in. That's why we have it here as well. Um, we have here the Austrian Bundesliga logo. It was back then the typical Bundesliga and then a funny sponsor which is also actually nice because it's in red which is also one of the club's colors. This, this is what makes this uh, jersey stand out so much that all the colors with the exception of the BWT and maybe the Zipfer which is uh, bluish gold it all fits very very nicely together. Bacaldrin is a local company that uh, produces bread though for corn which is a very uh, common good, uh, uh, you know, common uh, baked goods that uh, uh, people like here in Upper Austria. Speaking of Upper Austria, it's of course the coat of arms here. Um, my buddy Idris, I, it didn't get, 
it didn't occur to me, but my buddy Idris also pointed point out that the sleeves are really, really shortcut, almost like a women's jersey. They actually did release a women's jersey. And yes, it, it is true. If I wear a regular t-shirt, I suddenly have a much thicker, like almost Nike 2013 sleeve cuffs in black here. Uh, it, this one I kept on purpose blank because I said I want to wear this to the, to, to the, to the stadium uh, and so I don't want to have a number on, on the back. It's another sponsor which is the local energy supply and Energie again in the same colors as last so fits as well. And then Gemeinsam Sinn Sinn Lask is the motto like together we are Lask. I also like the black tail of this jersey. The one thing that bugs me a little bit. I really like that we have the black and white stripes and this is proper, proper, it's the best uh, stripe with, but I would wish that there was here one additional one because it's basically, it's almost like an Ajax. If this was all black, this would kind of be an Ajax shirt uh, because here everything else is white. So I would think an additional black stripe would have fitted this jersey very well. I get that the back has to be black, uh, but that's what the one thing that I would have improved on this particular shirt. The shirt itself is not only uh, good looking, but it was also a season that I do remember fondly, at least I would say a half season that I remember very, very fondly. This was on the back of, you know, the Corona season where Lask really had a shot at becoming champions, but then uh, shot themselves in the foot in, in a way. And then they got a new coach in Dominic Talhammer, who was very successful with the Austrian women's na na national team. And actually they played really, really well, especially in the fall season uh, where they qualified for Europe. This was worn in Lusk's biggest uh, European win, a 7-0 uh, destruction of Tunas Castreda in the old states in Linz. And then they had actually a really good run where they could have finished top of the table at the end of uh, the year. Would they have beaten Austria Vienna? It was right there. They had a penalty that they missed, but they were in the lead. They really gave Salzburg a run for, for the money. It was a, a very good season. As soon as it became 21, it all fell and wayside. And in the end, it was only a fourth place finish, which kind of did not fit with the overall feeling that I have for, 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 for a season. The season also uh, culminated in the cup final where this jersey with the cup patch was worn, but unfortunately it was lost 3-0 to uh, Red Bull Salzburg, kind of expectedly because the form for Lusk was not really there and, you know, it was still with the restrictions and, and so on. As I said, it's a season that I still remember very fondly because there were some really great games in there, uh, especially in Europe. Yes, uh, I was not uh, as successful as the season before. And it also ended as last seasons very often do a little bit in a sour taste because last usually tends to be good in the fall and not so good in the spring. But the shirt was good. I think it was a really good team that, 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 that we had. And I think with a little bit, um, I don't want to say bad, 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 better coaching, but I think the potential for this team was definitely another second spot because I still feel that overall, if there wasn't the points left, the team should have finished in second spot. But yeah, let me know what you think about this jersey. Next time that we look at the last jersey, we look at the complement in, in, in a way, uh, which is also really nice. And yeah, give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel, see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.